Hey guys, it's me Kia and I'm gonna be piercing my belly button today. Um, here's exhibit A. Um, I was thinking about it and I think it'll be cute and I decided YOLO and I'm just gonna do it. So I went to the beauty supply store earlier today and well, I already took it off of the card, but I got this belly button ring. I'm gonna order cuter ones online. This is like not bad though, it's like a little dragonfly. I literally like, I don't even know, the beauty supply store was just sold out of all their good belly rings. So this is what I was left with. And it's apparently surgical steel. So we're gonna roll with that. Um, of course, I always have a supply of needles, 16 gauge, and I'm just gonna get into it. <laughs> this is so random. Literally, baby, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. The amount of piercing videos, I, I think I have like majority piercing videos on my channel so yeah and i decided that i have pretty good anatomy for uh belly button piercing too so i'm just like why not let's get it um i'm gonna clean it just with alcohol also i washed my hands prior i feel like if i wore gloves it would like obstruct my abilities so i don't even like want to do that but yeah, I just decided I wanted a transformation. So I don't know if you guys saw that video of where I dyed my hair um, brown, but I am gonna dye it back to black. I already bought my black dye today because, oh yeah, I don't know if you can hear cars outside, but my window is open. But I'm gonna dye it back to black today because I just want black hair. I miss black hair. And I feel like the brown hair makes me slightly uglier. So I'm gonna go back really quick. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna pierce my belly button and I'm gonna dye my hair black and then I will feel like a new person. Let me just clean it one more time because I'm just like obsessive. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna let it dry. Um, In this jewelry, I'm just gonna like put alcohol on it. This is so boneless, that's good. Um, I'm just, <laughs> just gonna put it in this bottle cap and pour alcohol on it because I don't know how to sanitize this other than that. Okay, I have my little Crayola marker per. Um, I can't really, I'm just gonna try to make it centered. I'm just gonna mark it and then see if it's centered and if it's not, I'll just keep moving it until it's centered basically. That already looks off centered. I can see the center point right here. Okay, I'm gonna check it. Okay, I just went off camera really quick to like check the centeredness and now I know where I'm gonna go in. So shit, this is the moment of truth. I cannot believe I'm about to do this, this is crazy. Okay. God, I don't even know how I'm gonna get it in either. Cause it's like, cause I cannot go upside down. That's gonna be really hard. So I'll just go from the top. Okay. <laughs> Ow, this actually hurts. I'm gonna lose my shit. Oh my god. Okay, just trying to think about it. They're the only the very tip of the needle is in, and it hurts so bad, actually. Ow. Oh my god. People lied. People said it doesn't hurt at all. They literally are such big liars. Okay. I'm literally gonna cry. Like, I'm not even being dramatic. This genuinely hurts. Like, out of all the piercings I have, this is the
oh my goodness okay basically i went and got some ice i'm gonna try to put ice on it really quick while the needle's in my skin to numb it a little bit so i could feel less pain or something i don't even know this is like one of my more painful piercings everybody on tiktok talk about some oh it doesn't hurt at all oh my god easy piercing literally zero out of ten pain they're all lying i don't even think this is helping because i can't hold the ice it's too cold and everything already hurts like oh my god ridiculous like literally this is definitely painful everybody was lying because there's no way anyways i'm gonna just try to numb it a little bit i don't even know if that works and then i'm just gonna try to do the final push You got a pot in it though, I heard. Really? <laughs> 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 pot in it though, I heard. Really? <laughs> oh my god. This is pretty sanity inducing. Jesus. Okay, so another problem that I quickly realized is that this jewelry, I'm pretty sure, is like, I don't even know if this, I think this is literally might be a 14 gauge piece of jewelry. I don't know. Wait. I don't know what gauge this is, but I, it literally might be 14 gauge. I just don't know. Cause the needle I used was 16 gauge. I didn't realize till after. That, that's like too small. So yeah, my suspicion was correct and the needle was too small. 16 gauge is just too small for a belly button piercing. So what I had to end up doing is literally re-piercing it. Like this piercing that you saw me doing, I had to take this needle out of my skin and do it again with the 14 gauge needle. The heartbreak was insane. So yeah, I tried being optimistic at first and seeing if I could just put the jewelry through anyways, but that did not work. Um, so yeah, I tried doing it and like I failed and then uh, my phone died, so. Here's my piercing. It's been some days and I I had to re-pierce it and I have like other jewelry in it now. But yes, this was not fun. Definitely a struggle. Oh, my God.